now we'll see the problems based on uh, depression in freezing point so here what mass of ethylene glycol which should be added to 4 kg of water to prevent it from freezing at minus 6 degree centigrade and put a kf of water they have given 1.86 and molar mass of ethylene glycol 62 gram per mole so this question is totally uh, formula based so you can see every value they have given so we can use that formula so uh, freezing point yes yeah, just use it uh, delta t of use the formula uh, kf into molar molality of the solution so this is your uh, constant value so kf uh, minus 60 they have given so freezing points you can put that value so 0 minus minus 6 and kf 1.86 again molality value so molality value is weight they are asking so right here weight molar mass is 62 and multiplied by 1000 and divide by uh, 4 kilogram so 4 kilogram is 10 power 3 so on solving so we can uh, get and w is equal to uh, weight of the ethylene glycol is equal to 800 gram so this is our answer so this is just uh, easy questions formula based but uh, this is very important if you know the formula very well next question what would be the freezing point of aqua solutions containing 17 gram of ethylene in 1000 gram of water so again they have given kf so here we have to find out freezing point okay so again same formula based so delta tf is equal to kf multiplied by molality so freezing point again we can write here uh, freezing point of water okay that is 0 minus t so we have to find this one so again kf is equal to how much they have given 1.86 multiplied by so it is 17 gram molar mass of ethanol is 46 and again weight they have given a thousand gram of water so thousand divided by thousand so on solving so again we can directly get here so we will get here on solving we will get here this is zero this is zero so we will get t directly value so t is answer minus 0 0.69 degree centigrade so this is our answer next problem so next problem is the freezing point of a solution is prepared from 1.2 gram of non electrolyte and 20 gram of water is 271.9 kelvin so if molar depression constant is this much water what then molar mass of the solid is so we, can, we have to find out what is the molar mass of the solid same you can use formula uh, delta t f equal to k f multiplied by m ok so delta t f so again they have given this uh, uh, freezing point depression freezing point so initial freezing point will be 0 kelvin um, that is 273 kelvin 0 degree centigrade so 273 minus 271.9 and kf is 1.86 weight they have given 2 gram molar mass we need to find out and again they have given here 20 gram of water so 1000 divided by 20 so again on solving this will get so again 1.86 into 1.25 by capital N if you solve it this will be your 50 so here on solving we will get 105.7 gram so these are the same problem but different different values are given there again so here this is a 0.2 molar aqua solution of weak acid hx is 20% ionized what is the freezing point of this solution so kf of water is 1.86 kelvin per molarity is given so again same thing is there so delta tf is equal to kf into molality so we can see here freezing point so 0 minus this we have to find out equal to kf we have given 1.86 and 
molality now 20 percent ionized what does this mean so if you take weak acid this will dissociate into h plus and x minus okay so initial initial this will be your initial moles will be one this will be zero zero but final moles it is dissociated so how much it dissociate so alpha alpha diffusion both will be alpha alpha this will be one minus alpha so total moles will be how much total moles of solution will be one minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha this alpha cancel so one plus alpha so this is the total alpha we have to find this alpha okay so alpha it is given 20 percent ionized so this will be your hour one plus 20 percent means point so this will be total 1.2 so this we need to put here so 1.86 into m into it will be your i so i will be i is called vento factor so i will be 1 of 1.2 so we can put here 1.2 so now 1.86 and molality solution is given 0.2 and i is how much 1.2 so on solving we will get here uh, this is minus t so this will be answer 0 0.45 degree centigrade or phi will be your uh, t will be your minus 0 0.045 degree centigrade so this will be your value so this is not a difficult problem but little we have to take care now The boiling point of the aqua solution of a non-volatile solute is 100.15 degrees centigrade. What is the freezing point of an aqua solution obtained by diluting the above solution with an equal volume of water? With an equal volume of water. So in this case, we have to find out freezing point of the solutions. And Kb and Kf of water that is given. So first we will find out Kb. So T minus boiling point okay so this is equal to kv into molality of solutions okay and this is non-volatile solids we can put that, that in value so firstly your 100.15 minus 100 degree centigrade so we can take degree centigrade kelvin here there will not any difference and kf will be your kb this is your kb so kb they have given 0 0.512 into molality so this will be your first equation now in second equation so here we will get here molality is equal to you can solve it 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.512 now second tf minus t equal to kf into m so again we have to take equal volume water is here equal volume water means volume water whatever the volume water was before same volume water is added so the volume water will be something two it will double amount is double so now here we solve it so if you solve so this will be your uh, freezing point is your 273 kelvin okay and here t we have to find out kf is 1.86 and molality that we know that you can put this value 15 divided by 0 0.512 and divide by half so here we will get here value t equal to 0 0.272 degree centigrade so this is our value so again kf water is given if your automobile radiator holds one kilogram of water how many grams of ethylene glycol ethylene glycol must you add to get the freezing point of a solution lower to minus 2.8 degree centigrade so this temperature is lowered from 0 degree centigrade and for this how much grams of ethylene glycol you have to add it so that whole solutions become means 1 kilogram water becomes uh, temperature of this water becomes minus 2.80 centigrade so we have to find the mass of the ethylene glycol so again same formula so tf tf means 0, uh, zero uh, degree centigrade uh, minus t or 273 kelvin equal to kf into m so again here is 0 minus so minus is 2 point and this is your minus means minus 0 minus minus 2.8 equal to kf we know that kf water is 1.86 and w by 62 this is the solute it's not so we don't know the 
uh, so weight of this glycol and again weight of the water is 1000 by 1000 okay so on solving we will get weight equal to 93 grams so this is the weight of the ethylene glycol so next is 20 gram of binary electrolyte 20 gram binary electrolyte whose molar mass are 100 degree 100 and are dissolved in 500 gram of water so the freezing point of solution is 0 0.74 degree centigrade scale the happen what is the degree of ins alpha we have to find out same uh, freezing point by t equal to kf into m okay kf into m into uh, we can see i also so first we'll find the molar mass suppose we are not finding i right now i we don't know so we have to find the molar mass so here from here we'll get the abnormal molar mass see this is a binary electrolyte so binary electrolyte undergo dissociation so number of particle will increase so we don't know the number of particles so here what will happens uh, so that number of particles will change the molar mass of the this uh, molar, molar mass of the solute okay so we'll get the abnormal molar mass how we will get abnormal molar mass so see here uh, freezing point they have given how much uh, 0, point 0 minus 0.74 okay and again 1.8 is the kf and uh, this is given here 20 grams so 20 divided by m so this is the experimental molar mass divided by and total gram is 500 gram of water so divided so on solving here molar mass of the experimental this electrolyte will be here how much 100 gram okay 100 gram so now we know that uh, i equal to m of normal molar mass by m of observed molar mass so normal molar mass is so it is given here 100 and observed is also 100 so i is equal to 1 okay 1 so 1 this means that so this binary electrolyte is this electrolyte has no degree of ionization okay so what will happen so we can see here 1 plus 1 or 1 plus alpha so i is equal to 1 so this is actually 1 plus alpha so we can solve it 1 equal to 1 plus alpha so alpha will be 0 so there will be no degree of ionization because we know that i equal to 1 means no degree of ionization okay so it is a no association dissociation take place now this question the freezing point of in degree centigrade in a solution containing 0.1 gram of k3 fecn6 so this is a complex sort molar mass is given in 100 gram of water so k water is also given now we have to find this what is the freezing point of this solution in 100 gram of water so we can see this is a complex salt so in complex salt we can write here k3 fe whole cn6 whole cn6 packet closed so if you put in water it will convert into 3k plus then fe cn whole 6 3 minus whole 6 3 minus okay so we can see here this is 3 and this is 1 so this is a there are 4 ions are there so i will be how much 4 3 plus 1 4 i will be 4 then we can put value delta tf equal to kf into molality into i so i we know that 4 and kf of water that is freezing point of water is uh, elevation freezing point of water is freezing point of water this is a crash copy value is 1.86 and uh, they have given 0.1 gram 0.1 gram and this is potassium iron this is a ferrous iron hexocyanide so this value if you calculate it the molar mass comes about 329 gram this is given here so again multiplied by 1000 and they are asking 1000 gram of water so every value is given so this is tf minus t so this will be nothing but tf minus t so this is you know that 0 kelvin and on solving this whole equation so we will get value value here uh, 2.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 degree centigrade so since this is 0 so tf will be 0 so t will be minus 2.3 into 10 to the power minus 
degree centigrade so this will be our answer